Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the fantastic new Jackals, the Cornate Cultists for the World Eaters. Here they are in all their glory. They're absolutely fantastic. Sent to me early by Games Workshop as part of the World Eaters range and so we're going to be building up and painting them and reviewing them for you and well, as you can see, we're at the painting stage here. They have been primed in Wraithbone and well, we're just going to jump in and we're going to start painting them. We're going to be focusing on these five, although to be fair, a lot of the colours are going to be the same because we're going for a pretty quick scheme here as we want to get these up and ready for the tabletop. So, the colour we're going to be using first is Rattling Grime. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of our jackals' clothes. So this is going to be things like vests and shirts and trousers. We're just going to get this all over like this. And we are going to cause create some variation in the scheme a little bit later on. But for now you just want to get this all over. So it will kind of be one of those models that has a bit of a ugly stage for a while. Then it all comes together. And on that you'll have to trust me. So with that rattling grime all applied, what we then do is we take some Black Legion. Now we are going to be going back and forth a little bit on these miniatures, so you'll just kind of have to bear with it for a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Black Legion and we're going to apply it all over the top of the boots and over the top of any capes or the kind of bottom halves of former coats. What's interesting here is that these are Astra Militarum boots that I've just noticed and that's really cool. having painted a bunch of them recently on the channel. So there we go, there's a boot. We've got another boot just here, but the reason we're going back and forth a bit is because if we want to do some different skin tones on things, if we just kind of try and plan it all out now, it'll be complicated and difficult. So essentially you want to just get the whole of the legs done and then move up to doing the flesh and then all the leather around that as well. So we're just going to get this Black Legion all over the top of this guy's coat and his boots. And the same thing on the icon. The icon bearer. And so with that Black Legion all applied to those boots and things, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to apply this over the top of anything like holsters or leg wraps, any strappings that are just on the legs. Like I said, we're going back and forth a bit. Don't worry about any kind of chest harnesses or anything like that just for now. So with that done, exclusive to this guy, we've got some Peturges here and what we're going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and apply this over this little section just here. Just like that.
And then next up, we're going to take some Skeleton Horde and we're going to apply this over the top of the skulls that we've got hanging from the belts. And so with that Skeleton Horde applied, we're then going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the leg armor. So with all of that Iron Warriors applied, we're in a pretty good spot for all of the legs for all of our guys. We've just got one last thing to do, and that is to take some Stormfiend and some Black Templar. I'm going to be doing two different things here with these. We're not using any blending or anything like that, but what we are going to be doing is introducing that variation. So for example, on this guy here, we're just going to leave his trousers the way they are. On this guy here, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Stormfiend and we're going to apply this over the top of his trousers, giving us a really nice dark, dirty blue over the top of the rattling grime. Like that sort of thing. Perfect. On our next guy, which is going to be this one, just here, we're going to take Black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of the trousers as well. This is how we add that little bit of variation, but it's all kind of still variation or a theme. You can do this however you want to, in any combinations. The choices, of course, up to you. So with that Black Templar and Storm Fiend applied, you should have some really nice variation in all of the clothes now. Got some Rattling Grime, got some Black Templar, got some Storm Fiend and Rattling Grime areas and it's looking pretty cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to the flesh. And this is important because we've got more leather straps and stuff to do, but if we just did the same Saigor Brown over all of them, then that would limit our choices for the flesh. And, well, we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use four colors here. We've got Dark Oath Flesh, Gilliman Flesh, Fire Slayer Flesh, and Saigor Brown. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be firstly taking some Gilliman flesh and we're going to be applying this over the top of our dishonored skin. So we're just going to pick a place to start and I'm just going to start just here. I'm going to apply this all over his body and his face.
this sort of thing. Like that we'll leave him for now because we've got a nice section there divided by the belt we will come back and do him a little bit more later so our next one that we're going to work on is going to be this guy roll on up so what we're going to do for him is we're going to take darko fresh and we're going to apply this all over his body and his face Like that sort of thing. Similarly, the harness is dividing it for us. Next up, we have this guy, and we're going to be using Fire Slayer Flash for him. Like that. And then finally, for our last two, we're going to use some Cycle Brown. So with that done, they're looking pretty cool. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work on those leather details. And the color we're gonna be using is Saigor Brown. And we're gonna be using it on these guys because if we use Saigor Brown on the other two, it'll just get lost. So I'm gonna take Saigor Brown. I'm gonna use this over the top of the belts and we're gonna use this over the top of, well, it's the belts and straps. So with that side gore brown applied to these guys' belts, 
what we then do is we take some Agrax Earthshade and we apply that to these guys' belts. So we just take the Agrax Earthshade. And this guy doesn't actually have too many, but he does have this stuff going on on his head. So with that Agrax Earthshade applied, we've got a few extra skulls that we need to color in on these three gentlemen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Skeleton Horde. We're gonna apply that over the top of the skulls. Just like we did on the trousers. So with that skeleton horde all applied to those skulls, what we now do is we take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're gonna apply this over the top of the plume, just here. We're gonna apply this over the top of, well, I mean, it's the plume and any of the soft wraps on the weapons and on the icon. So with that done, we're very close now to getting all of our base coats on. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some thinned down iron warriors and we're gonna be applying this over a lot of details. So demonstrating here on the pack leader, we're gonna take the iron warriors and we're gonna apply this over the top of things like the weapons, including the casings. Often we would do those in a different color, but According to the box art, these are silver. We're going to be painting them over things like that. We're going to be painting them, painting this over things like the chains. We're going to be painting it over the main parts of the tanks. Like this. Over the top of any belt buckles. pistol grips and cables. As well as the tusks on these masks, but not the whole of the mask. So with all of that Iron Warriors applied, we're then going to take some Balthazar Gold and we're going to apply this over all of our remaining details. So this is going to be areas such as these masks, little corn icons and things that they've got carrying on their belts and stuff. The spikes, the trim of the tanks. All of it. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on our jackals. However, we do have one last thing to do before we add some shading, and that is going to be to add some Blood Angels Red. I'm gonna be adding this over the top of the silver 
of the tanks in here. We're gonna fill them up with blood angels red. <laughs> so we're just gonna apply this over the top Just like this. So with the Blood Angels Red applied to the tanks, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna add a shade. Now the first shade we're gonna add is Agrax Earthshade and this is going to be over quite a lot of these models. So we're going to be applying this over the top of the red. We're going to be applying this over the top of the Balthazar Gold. We're going to apply this over the top of the Silver and we're going to apply this over the top of any rattling grime clothes that still remain. So with that Agrax and Earth shade all applied, we've got one more shade to apply, and this is kind of an optional extra. What we've got is we've got some blood berserker blood shade. Blood zerker blood shade, blood, blood, blood. <laughs> and uh, what we're gonna do with this is if you feel like it, you don't have to do this in, in the interest of time. But what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna apply this over the top of this guy's skin. You can apply this over any of the recipes to add that little bit of extra kind of red in there. I'm just going to apply it here. Like this. Just to give me a little bit more variation in the In recipes. As I said, we're going for pretty quick with these guys, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And you can add this in various little places. Again, just to add that little hint of red in some places. For example, that's that guy's flesh, but if you wanted to, for example, you could add some to, say, this icon. You could add some Like that towards the bottom half of it, just to have a little bit more colour, a little bit more variation. Like so. You could add some to some of the weapons. Just 
just in little patches here and there. Makes it totally optional extra. So with that done, our jackals are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. That this one's a little bit skewer. There we go. <laughs> so here we go. They're looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave them there. No, we're going to take them to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding a couple of layers and some highlights. Now, the first layer we're going to add is Kislev flesh, and we're going to be using this on all three of these guys, but slightly differently. So for these two that we haven't shaded with Berserker Bloodshade, we're going to use Kislev Flesh to relayer their skin. Whereas for him, we're just going to highlight this is the one we did shade with the Berserker Bloodshade. So we'll start with our relayering. So we're going to take some of that thinned down Kislev Flesh on our brush. And we're just going to pick a place to start. I'm just going to start right here on the arm. I'm going to apply the Kislev Flesh over the top of the flats of the muscles, just avoiding any of the recesses where our Fire Slayer flesh, or Darko flesh, or Gilliman flesh has really settled. Got a bit of a hair there, let's remove that. Like this sort of thing. However, on our Berserker Blood Shaded Fellow, we're going to take that Kislev Flesh and we're going to use this to add little highlights. So with that Kiz left flesh applied to these three, what we then do is we take some flayed one flesh and on our, well, these two guys, we use this to highlight them, picking out the edges and the sharp details within all the muscles. So with that done, these guys' skin is all finished. So we're just going to pop it to one side for one second because what we're going to do is we're going to take some thin down Night Quester flesh. I'm going to use this to highlight our other two gentlemen. So with that done, our skin is looking pretty good across all five of our dudes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion. I'm going to use this tiny little mount to paint in their eyes. That's way too much. And so with that Black Legion applied, we then take a tiny little dot of Screaming Skull. We apply this in the corners. Of the eyes.
So with that done, all of the skin and all of the faces are now done. So what we're going to do is move on to our next relayer. And this is going to be some thins down Evil Sun's Scarlet. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using this on the tanks on the back. Now we don't want to do the whole tank. We just want to brighten up some of it. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So what we're going to do is we take that Evil Sun Scarlet on our brush. And we're just going to kind of apply this like this, leaving some of our Blood Angels red still showing towards the top. Just like that sort of thing. So with that Evil Sun Scarlet applied, just before we finish off those blood tanks, what we need to do is we need to highlight all of the silver. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to take some thin down iron breaker and we're going to use this to highlight all of the silver. How many ways can you say the same thing twice? So with all that iron breaker applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Lamium Medium and Blood for the Blood God. And we're going to use this in a couple of different ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that first and we're going to apply this over the top of the tanks. Because Blood for the Blood God's got that little bit of shine to it, as you would expect from blood. It's going to create that sort of glassy finish, but also create this, well, blood red. That's what this stuff is. It's blood. Like that. Then what we're also going to do with the blood for the blood god. Blah, blah, blah. Then what we're also going to do with the blood for the blood god <laughs> is we're going to add little spatters of it across the weapons. You just want to take a brush load and just spot it on quite roughly. That little hint of gore. I don't want to kind of drench it. I mean, you can drench it if you want to, but you don't have to. Similarly, any tubes, we want to add just a little bit of it. Like this. So 
same, same again. A little bit of blood for the blood god. That around the tubes on the weapon. So, can add some of it up here on the icon as well. Because you know this boy be hitting people with the icon for sure. And then over the top of his blood tanks. So with that done, our jackals are, well, looking pretty awesome already. We've just got a couple of things left to do. Now one of these is to take some thinned down Rune Lord brass, and we're going to use this to highlight all of our Balthazar gold. And so with all of that Rune Lord brass applied, we've just got one last highlight to do. And this is going to be some thinned down Dawnstone. And we're going to be using this to highlight all of our blacks, all of our dark blues, and all of our greys. This is kind of just gonna be a multi-function highlight. So for example, if you've got stuff that's still got rattling grime, you're gonna highlight it. If you've got the black boots, I'm going to highlight it. just like this. And so here we have it, the Jackals all finished with their bases complete in the same style as the rest of the World Eaters. And if you'd like to see how I did this, you can always go and check out the Angron video where I covered it in detail. Now, I really like these guys. I think they're fab. I just like corn-specific cultists. I think that's a really, really cool idea by Games Workshop. Just to give them some specific mortals, and I really, really hope that we get some Emperor's Children style ones, some Thousand Suns style ones, and some Death Guard ones, although we technically have Pops Walkers already. Anyway, I think they're really cool. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.